hello everyone welcome to the seventh tutorial on Dirac Delta function so in this video I am going to solve uh, the problems came in GST exam so our first problem is if, uh, we have to evaluate this integral from minus infinity to plus infinity cos x delta x square minus pi square dx so for this we are going to use the formula delta of x square minus a square is equals to 1 over mod 2a delta of x minus a plus delta of x plus a ok so now let's evaluate this integral minus infinity to plus infinity cos x delta x x square minus pi square dx so this delta term can be written as 1 over mod of 2 pi I am uh, taking out this factor outside the integral because it is a constant now integration minus infinity to plus infinity cos x and this is delta x plus pi plus delta x minus pi ok and dx so we have 1 over 2 pi now we have to uh, so this delta function is defined at x equals to minus pi and there is another delta function or delta peak at x equals to pi so as the integration ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so uh, both these uh, delta peak will uh, lie between this range so we have to include both the points uh, in our result so this is cos of minus pi plus cos of pi now we know that cos of minus x is cos x so it is 1 over 2 pi and it is 2 times cos pi and cos pi the value of cos pi is minus 1 so it is 1 over 2 pi minus 1 ok sorry minus 2 so it is minus 1 over pi so the answer is minus 1 over pi so the, uh, the correct option is b ok so let's go to our next problem so this problem came in just 2018 and we have to evaluate this integral so for this we are going to use the def the formula for delta function of a function and which was delta of gx gx is equals to sum over n equals to 1 to infinity delta of x minus xi by mod of g uh, g prime at x size ok where x size are the roots of the of the equation g of x equals to 0 so in our case g x is sin pi x ok so now to find the root uh, let's uh, equate gx with 0 and therefore sin pi x is 0 and it will give uh, pi x is equals to n pi where n is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 etc ok therefore x will be equals to n so th there will be uh, a delta peak at each values of n so now let's evaluate this integral okay one thing uh, we also need to evaluate is g prime x g prime x is d dx of sine pi x okay so it is pi times cos pi x now uh, at at these solutions the at the roots 
for x equals to n where n is 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 for these values say g prime mod of g prime x i will be equals to pi cos pi n okay and there is a mod and it is equals to we know that cos pi n is equals to minus 1 to the power n now n could be uh, even or odd and uh, minus 1 to the power n will give you plus minus 1 but as we are taking a mod so all the results will be in plus or positive so the result is pi okay so now let's evaluate this integral pi integral form minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus mod x delta of sine pi x dx okay and this will be equals to pi times integration minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus mod x and this uh, delta function can be written like this say delta 0 that is for n equals to 0 by mod of g uh, prime xi and this is pi so this is pi okay now plus and this plus sign is due to the summation so delta of then plus 1 by pi plus delta of minus 1 by pi so this is for n equal to plus minus 1 again plus delta of plus 2 by pi plus delta of minus 2 by pi and so on up to infinity okay and there is a dx uh, so now let's uh, take out this 1 over pi outside the integral as it is a constant and this pi and this pi will cancel out so uh, we are left with e to the power minus 0 plus e to the power minus 1 plus e to the power minus of mod of minus 1 uh, which will give you my e to the power minus 1 plus e to the power minus 2 plus e to the power minus of mod of minus 2 and so on so we will have uh, this e to the power minus 0 will give you 1 plus 2 times e to the power minus 1 plus 2 times e to the power minus 2 plus 2 times e to the power minus 3 and so on now uh, if you take this factor here to e to the power minus 1 common then you will have 1 plus e to the power minus 1 plus e to the power minus 2 and so on so this is a gp series with common ratio e to the power minus 1 and the sum of this gp series will be 1 plus 2 e to the power minus 1 over 1 minus e to the power minus 1 so this is equals to 1 minus e to the power minus 1 plus 2 e to the power minus 1 by 1 minus e to the power minus 1 so it keeps 1 plus e to the power minus 1 by 1 minus e to the power minus 1 and this is equals to e plus 1 by e minus 1 so the correct answer is option b okay so now let's go to our next problem and our next problem is we have to evaluate this integral this came in just 2017 so now we have to find the roots of this function let's consider it gx so gx is equals to x square minus 3x plus 2 now let's uh, equate it with 0 therefore we have x square minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0 or x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 equals to 0 if you take this x common then x minus 2 minus 1 x minus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 1 x minus 2 is equals to 0 therefore there are two roots at x equals to 1 and 2 now we are going to 
use this formula x delta of x minus a delta of x minus b dx is equals to 1 over mod of a minus b delta of uh, x minus a plus delta of x minus b so for our case a is 1 and b is 2 so delta of x minus 1 x minus 2 will be sorry there will be no dx here so the uh, a minus b that is 1 minus 2 is mod of minus 1 delta of x minus 1 plus delta of x minus 2 okay so uh, this is equals to delta of x minus 1 plus delta of x minus 2 now let's evaluate this integral minus infinity to plus infinity x x squared plus 1 delta of x x squared minus 3x minus plus 2 dx is equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity x squared plus 1 times delta of x minus 1 so there are two delta peaks at x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 so the result will be as the integration ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so uh, we have to put 1 and another times 2 so 1 square plus 1 is 2 and 2 square is 4 plus 1 is 5 so the answer is 7 so the correct option is option d 7 okay so now let's solve this integration uh, solve this problem which came in just uh, 2015 so the problem is consider the differential equation g prime x k g x delta x uh, where k is a constant then which of the following statement is true so uh, let's solve this differential equation it is a first order inhomogeneous differential equation of Bernoulli's form and we know that if uh, this type of differential equation uh, that is y prime let's consider this differential equation y prime x plus uh, u x y x g x the solution of this differential equation that is one can solve this differential equation by calculating the complementary function and the particular integral and the final solution is uh, given by yx equals to e to the power uh, integration ux dx times a some uh, in uh, integration constant a plus integration gx e to the power integration ux dx and dx okay now let's uh, compare this uh, equation differential equation with the uh, given differential equation then you will find that ux here in the in the question ux is equals to k which is a constant and gx is equals to delta x okay so let's put this uh, uh, these factors in the solution then gx will be gx equals to e to the power minus k dx times a plus uh, gx is delta x and uh, e to the power k dx dx okay so this will be equals to e to the power minus k x plus c okay c is uh, some another integration constant times a plus uh, again delta x e to the power k x plus c dx okay so now it is equals to e to the power minus k x e to the power minus c times a plus and uh, let's 
right this like this e to the power kx times e to the power c dx okay now uh, let's multiply the fa this factor with with the factors in the parenthesis so it is a e to the power minus c uh, let's consider it as another constant say b then uh, e to the power minus kx okay plus now this e to the power minus c and e to the power c will give you one so uh, we will left with e to the power minus kx integration over delta x e to the power kx sorry dx okay now uh, let's use some properties of the delta function so we know that delta x f of x is equals to f of 0 delta x okay now in our case this fx is this e to the power kx so uh, this will give e to the power 0 which is equals to 1 so we can write b e to the power minus kx plus e to the power minus kx delta x dx okay and the uh, integration ranges from say uh, so for say for some value of x okay so again we know that the derivative of the step function gives uh, the delta function or this uh, delta this uh, integral of the delta function you can write it as a step function at x equals to 0 as this delta function is defined at x equals to 0 so uh, this in, in, this integral will give you a step function at x equals to 0 that is uh, this step function is equals to 1 for x greater than 0 and 0 for x less than 0 so the solution becomes b e to the power minus k x plus theta or the step function x e to the power minus k x okay so say let's uh, consider any value for b I if you choose b equals to 1 then the solution will look like this okay so if uh, it is 1 and it is say 2 then it will look like this so there will be a discontinuity at x equals to 0 on gx so the our uh, right option is c okay so this is how you can solve uh, uh, differential equation or first order differential equation involving delta function okay let's solve our next problem so this problem came, e uh, came in just 2014 and this is a very simple problem that uh, we all know that the dimension of the delta function is inverse of the dimension of its argument so in our case x is the dimension of momentum so the dimension of the delta function should be inverse of momentum so our uh, correct option is option d delta function has the dimension of the momentum so that's it for this video see you in the next video